Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the degree of freedom for the plane mechanism. That if we see the plane mechanism, then we can say that is related to the 2D. Now consider this is one pencil. This is XY plane. So what is degree of freedom means the number of independent parameters required to define its position in a space. Now if I want to define the position of this pencil, so what are the minimum required parameters? One, x distance from the origin and again y distance from the origin and the included angle uh, from this horizontal axis. So the minimum number of parameters required to define its position in a space is called the degrees of freedom. For the pencil, so here the x, y and the angle theta, so three degrees of freedom it is having in planar mechanism. Now consider the two link, this is link 1 and this is link 2. As already we had seen that the each link having three degrees of freedom. So here in the x direction y direction and its angle. So 3 degrees of freedom to the one link and again 3 degrees of freedom 3 link uh, 3. So total 3 plus 3 6 degrees of freedom when the links are not connected. Now if you connect these two link what will happen? Now the delta x1 and delta x2 it becomes the delta x. Delta y1 and delta y2 it becomes the delta y. So instead of the 4 degrees of freedom you will get the 2 degree of freedom means the 2 degrees of freedom it vanishes. So initially when they are not connected at the time 3 degrees of freedom of the first link and the 3 degrees of freedom of the second link so total 6 degrees of freedom we will get but when we connect with the help of the pin joint we will get so theta 1, theta 2 and the x and the y so total 4 degrees of freedom. Now we will see the Grubler criteria for the planar mechanism. So that degrees of freedom or movability we can say m we have to find out. So as already we had seen each link having the 3 degrees of freedom. So generally we will get the equation that is a 3L. So 3 degrees of freedom of the each link. So here the 2 link 3 into 2 6 you will get. So this is the general equation that is a 3L means 3 degrees of freedom for each link. So L is the number of links. So total you will get 3L degrees of freedom when they are not connected. But when we connect the two link, what it will happen? The two degrees of freedom vanishes. So as you go on connecting the number of link, so you will get the two degrees of freedom vanish to each link. So you will get minus 2j. So initially total number degrees of freedom when they are not connected. If we connect, so for each joint the two degrees of freedom it vanishes. So therefore minus 2j. Now out of this we have to ground one of the link then and then only it becomes the mechanism. So if we ground one of the link what it will happen? So 3 degrees of freedom it will vanish. So therefore 3 number of grounded link. But as you go on grounding the number of links so it will become only one link. So g is always 1. So therefore if we rearrange this 3L minus 2J minus 3 then you will get 3 common L minus 1 minus 2J. So where M is the degrees of freedom or the mobility, L is the number of link and J is the number of joints.